53 miles now. Well, these appear to be heading uh, directly at us. I'm coming toward steady up. Uh, now let's go see the next one, which is uh, defensive fighter maneuvers. Um, this one is when you're in trouble and you need to get out of his 12 o'clock and you need to get them out of your 6. And then turn back around and re-engage and hopefully get a kill. So let's see how that one works. All right, here we are again. Let me show you what's going on. Somebody just fired at you. So it's only six o'clock. I, I, I don't know if you can see it, but it's back there. So let me show you what you're gonna do with Control Eight. You'll see the Bandit, which is right there. This is a Mig 25. And this guy's carry the uh, air-to-air six R missiles. And it looks like he just fired one at you. Yeah. So there's a missile coming right at you. So what you're gonna do is go back to your jet and prepare to evade this missile. So let's go back to your jet by pressing one. And there you are. So you're going to turn on your countermeasures, number four, go back up, turn your jammer on, there it is, you can probably even see it, but it's on. Now after you do all that, you're going to place that missile on your beam side, which is the nine or your three o'clock. So how do you do that? You know that the threat is coming from behind. So, to your right will be 3 o'clock, to your left will be 9 o'clock. So, at about a 90 degree turn to the left or to the right, will put that missile on your beam. Now, the defensive BFM shows a defensive max G turn overview on this graphic. The way you defeat the bandit here when he starts at your 6 is by placing your lift vector directly on the bandit. Monitor your airspeed and stay between 330 and 440 knots. If your airspeed gets below 400 knots, keep the throttle in afterburner, but ease off the G's to stay in the corner airspeed range. As you continue to pull, analyze your turn to see if it's working. If the bandit is moving towards your nose and you are increasing your angle of an aspect, the turn is working. Stay at the corner airspeed and keep pulling. If the bandit keeps moving towards your nose, you will eventually be flying head-on or an offensive BFM. So if you look at your RWR right here, see what the uh, plane is, it's right almost at your 6 o'clock, it's flashing, that means that it fires at you, so you know where the missile is coming from, it's coming from your back, or your 6 o'clock, so what you're going to do is turn, so the missile will be right here, next to your wing, or here, next to the other wing, so let's start a uh, right turn, I'm sorry, a left turn, and see if we can uh, evade this missile. And you're gonna do the maneuver that I showed you before. You're gonna go up, flares, down, flares, up, flares, down, flares, until the missile's gone. So here we go. So let's start turning left. Here we go. In about 90 degrees. Stop. Level. And let me show you where it is. Pause. So now, let's look at your RWR. You see right there that your enemy is at your 9 o'clock, almost. And it's flashing, so that means that he fired the missile. So we're going to go and look that way 
and with four try to find the person the fire at you right it is so it's right there I don't know if you can see the red dot there it is and you can see the plane and it's not tracking at the plane anymore it's tracking the missile that is coming at you so can I go back to 2D view and 3D and if you want to keep an eye on the missile just go back there and hit 4 there it is and start doing your evasive maneuvers so let me unfreeze these pause up down striking the missile and up again and there he goes now it's behind you let me pause it and if you can see the red dot now it disappears means that the missile exploded and is behind you so now that you obeyed the missile you gotta take care of whoever fired the missile so he still is over there so now let's look at where he is and press forward again more or less here there he is there's the plane so now you don't need to do that because I already showed you before how you can kill this guy without uh, using the four. The four key is more for missiles because you really can't see those guys. But here, if you look at your plane, you see exactly where that guy is. It's not flashing anymore, so he hasn't fired. So now it's your turn to kill this bastard. So I'm going to 2D view. I'm going to set up my missiles. They should be already set up. But I'm just going to do it. Okay, so there he is. Go to the 3D view and start turning that way. He's right in front of you. There he goes. He fired another one. So just deploy some real quick. Let me pause it. And I'm going to lock on this guy. So go to the left. And there he goes. And let me lock on it real quick. There you go now, he's locked up. Move back up. So now here's telling me he's above us. And if you look to the MFD, he is very, very close. Let's expand it once. And two, he's like right there, less than a mile. So let's see if we can get a kill on this guy. Let's remember, keep fine flares because he just fired another missile. Now let's zoom in to your HUD. There. And let's see if we can get him. There he goes. Now let's follow the missile. And his toast. That's it. Pause it. So now let's go talk about head on basic fighter maneuver. And this maneuver is called the slice maneuver. So the yeah. head on BFM. And we're gonna do this slice maneuver. So we're gonna slice this guy up. No, just kidding. We're just gonna do. Um, I'm going to go up to the left or to the right and hopefully you'll be going behind the guy at his 6 o'clock and becoming offensive, firing a missile and destroying the target. So here we are, once again the guy is in front of us, I don't know if you can see it, He's right there. I have it locked on already, ready to go.